having a white, a nice white wall, that is good. Yeah, yeah white definitely. Wall is great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's visible for everybody. Welcome to Architecture Corner. Today we have two guests, Nina Lundström and Katarina Setteberg, and we will talk about Agile project management. A few <laughs> days ago there was an article on LinkedIn where they said you don't need a program office when running Agile projects. You are project managers, both of you, and are you needed? I would say as a project manager the ultimate purpose is to dissolve yourself Uh, at least uh, in the future. Right now, I would say that most organizations are not really there. Uh, If you have teams that do have enough of mandates and also do have a view across the entire organization, you wouldn't need neither a program office, a project office, or program managers. But as long as you have uh, some optimated organizations Uh, we're needed to do the coordination in between the different departments and to make sure that everybody gets a say on what's being done and when it's being done. Nina, do you have the same view? Yes, definitely. Because uh, it's dependent on the organization that you work on. And the the customers aren't so used to these agile skills at the moment. So a day in a life for both of you when you work, you're both working with Agile projects, that's correct? Yeah. And a day in life for you is not the Agile world. How is it today? Well, it's a lot of discussions to make sure that everybody in, is in the same pace. It's a lot of the getting the oil in the project and getting the oil of the organization mm. to work as fluent as possible so you get the full speed ahead. So it's a lot of coordination, I would say, so far. You talked about coordination, and where is the difference in coordination between waterfall projects and agile projects? It's a huge difference, because uh, using a waterfall project, you coordinate the entire scope at once. Uh, And it's a long-going coordination all the time. And using agile, you have small, different coordination tasks during the entire project and you have to uh, put in a lot of other type of resources and a lot of ty- other types of uh, what you say um, uh, how you coordinate it you do it by daily basis all the time so you get the result that you want in the organization and uh, it's dependent on the, all the small parts of the agile project you have small tasks and you have to fix that task and then you take another task and another task. And compared to a waterfall project, you coordinate all through. So it's the critical path that you had in a traditional project yeah. management. Yeah. That's what you coordinate on. Yeah. So in the Agile project, you have more small tasks and they can change depending on what reality puts in and puts out. And you can steer towards the other tasks if you have another reality that runs around. When you have Agile projects, Katarina, how many people are there in this project? Because I know that some people say that when you're running larger programs, you can't run Agile. Uh, I'm running an Agile program myself right now. Uh, and it's Agile because it, um, it covers the entire organization, but it's a small team. I would say you can, of course you can run Agile even if you have um, larger teams or if you have um, many teams, uh, but it takes a lot more of coordination. Just like Nina says when we were talking about comparing Agile to Waterfall, Agile will take a lot more anchoring. And if you have several teams, you would need to coordinate an anchor also in between the teams in case there are any dependencies. Um, Agile for me is a lot about, in this program at least, to anchor the outcome all the time. because. In a waterfall method, you have all the specifications done in the beginning, and when they're decided on, they're not really changed. If you must change them, change them then you must have a change request. Uh, when you're running Agile, you're just setting the basic setups, 
um, in the beginning. You plan the different right. steps. And then you need to anchor all the minor steps all the way, uh, pinning up the details as you move along. And it takes a lot more coordination and a lot more anchoring. So you have mm. more to do as a project manager in an ideal program than in a traditional Absolutely. It's, it's a different kind of, totally different kind of setup. And, and uh, I think Agile is much more fun. I love Agile. So it's more about communication than planning. If you are, so it's not a program leader or program manager, you're more a communication manager. Yes, I would say communication is, is uh, the alpha and the omega of Agile. Actually, I have, I'm lucky enough to have um, a communications expert in the program that I'm working now. And uh, I use her a lot to uh, help me specify what needs to be communicated, how it's to be formulated, and, and when it's to be communicated, and through what channel. I'm part of a large transformation program in UK where we are developing new business processes but also adding new IT system. And there is a lot of different skills to be needed during different times. So this is little bit more than a normal agile development mm. project. How would you run a project like this in a more agile way? I think it's very important that you have the supporters of this program available and that they are on to what we are going to do to achieve. Uh, and then also try to secure the, the kind of resources that you need during these phases for the entire program, and that you have the organization with you, it's essential to have that if you're going to run this as an agile program, because otherwise you wouldn't succeed. All right, and another thing, make sure that the steering group is actually working for you, not yeah. controlling you from the top, but working for you as a PM. They're supposed to be your, your helpers, mm. really, and they need to understand that they are the program's ambassador. That's, that this is really important. They need to understand that they need to do some heavy work in order to get the rest of the organization to not only accept what you're doing, but to think it's a good thing. The challenge I see with large programs mm -hmm. is that it's very much coordination between their different teams, even yeah. if the developers yeah. are, are working agile. Yeah. And is agile that scalable so it can be used for large programs? Or is it just an utopia? I think it was it's worth trying at least because it I think it depends on the organization if they are they are common to use it and they want to use agile methods I think you have a strong position to succeed with it but uh, if you have people that's not into agile I, I wouldn't recommend it but you have to have them with you to succeed having large programs in using Agile because it's not only the ordinary coordination, it's coordinating throughout maybe different parts of the company, different organizations, and then you have, have to have everybody with you. And I think it mm -hmm. actually makes stuff easier if your program or project is one of the highest top priorities of the company. Uh, it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right, because yeah. that makes it that much easier uh, to work Agile. Um, also, because it will make sure that you will get help in overcoming obstacles, in getting the help you need to solve problems, and you will get it pronto. So you talk a little bit both about the skills that are needed within the, proje the project group that is running an Agile project. Is that something that is much more important when running Agile than running ordin ordinary projects? I think so, oh. because you have a very tight time limit usually. And you don't have the you don't have the time to get people to educate themselves. You you want to have the skills when you need it, because it's going to be now, not in two weeks or three weeks when they they have the skills. So it's important to have the right people at the right moment. So it's it's a quite a lot of planning. And yeah. also to be able to keep the team intact, because yeah. every time you have to exchange a team member. Mm -hmm. Uh, the team slows down and it takes a bit of time to get, even if it's a skilled person, yeah. it takes a bit of time to get them up and running and understanding what is this program or project all about mm. and um, what is my role here and how am I to work this. Mm. 
Uh, so trying to keep the team intact, getting skilled people from yeah. from start from and start, keeping yeah. them all the way out, I would yeah. say, is, is very important. Mm. Do you see any differences if you run an agile program as a part of a service contract where you are making small improvements to existing systems or adding a lot of new functionality when they want something completely new. Is it a huge difference here? I think so, a little bit, because yeah. uh, using it in uh, AM organizations, uh, it's very useful, because then it's usually are very small tasks that's going to be done, and you can do it very, very quickly, because you already have the people knowing the customer's site and knowing the customer organization, so it's very easy to get things done in an agile way way in uh, that kind of an organization. Yeah, I would yeah. say the difference mm. uh, between a project with a very clear scope or clearish, yeah. if you're talking yeah. agile, yeah. Uh, and, and uh, in service management, for yeah. example, is that it's, I would say it's easier uh, to take in new people in the team in service management, yeah. at least because you have stuff in there, there's so little that they can start with it and then get the hang of it as they go. Yeah. In a project, you usually don't have you don't have that start phase. Right. When running agile projects, do you need different skills from the project members uh, compared to uh, uh, other projects? Um, I would say partly and partly not. Uh, and I would also like to stress the fact that the important thing is to have the people with the right attitude and to keep the team together. Because every time you change a team member, uh, the team crash and it crashes down, it loses velocity and, and uh, it could actually risk the whole pro program or project. So in the last uh, episode we talked about requirements and if you have too many requirements the project will be too long. Uh, is that something you see when you're running your programs in an ideal way that it's too long time? No. Um, I would, my, my spontaneous reaction as an Agile um, program or project leader is I don't really understand the question uh, because you can add on um, new requirements the whole time. You don't have a deadline, you, you don't have a bunch of requirements. Of course, you have, of yeah, course you have a bunch of requirements. Of course you have a deadline, but, but they're I mean, the requirements static. are not set. Yeah. Right, they're not mm -hmm. static. Yeah. And, and they change. And as yeah. long as you have um, somebody who does the prior prioritization of each and everything that comes in. It doesn't matter. Uh, because when the, t when the deadline, when you reach the deadline, uh, you're done with this much. And if yeah. you have an efficient team with high velocity, you will have done a lot up to that date. Yeah. If you have a slow team or if you have a, an organization around the team that doesn't work agile, that changes team members for you, uh, then you would have a slow velocity and you would have achieved less. Uh, you are working more with new implementation of new functionality and Nina mm -hmm. is working more with service management. Yeah. What's the difference with the Agile approach for you because of these different setups? Well, I think that uh, I have smaller parts all the time because using Agile in the service management organization, you use it daily because you have small different changes all the time. So running it in Agile, it, it's working very, very much better for solving the problems or solving the small projects. You get a lot of much more things done because you ha yeah, I have my team and they work very fluently with all these uh, tasks during the day. So we, we get a lot of, lot of more things done. And it's much more viewable having the whiteboard with all our tasks and all our small projects or large projects and sometimes also. So I think it's much, much better. So it's more natural, I'll yeah. you say. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's like more oil in the machinery. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you don't need to budget for large things. You have a no. budget that yeah. is and yeah. you have a number of people there is and then yeah. you just tick one one part of, of after yeah. another yeah and, and, then, and depending on the prioritization uh, you maybe sometimes switch parts except from each other and then and you put each them. part in production after yeah. each other so it's yeah. real agile yeah 
but is it the same for you that you put new things in production every second week, for example? Uh, oh, I wish. Uh, <laughs> not really. Uh, specifically not in the program that I'm leading at the moment, uh, where we are ex exchanging uh, platforms for 23 different databases. Uh, and this is all going on in parallel. Uh, we have situations, I'm, I'm on a different level, I mean, yeah. you're, you're working in the details, yeah. I have whole databases mm. that I need to change. So, so our plan is basically, okay, we have this time lap for, for this database, and this time lap for this database, and that time lap for that database, and we're working with the planning on a very high level, and the planning in the beginning when we start working with it is, okay, we're having this platform, and then we work the details. Yeah. Um, so, so we're working agile, but on a different level. Yeah. We're having situations in this program where we have had, um, we've been anchoring the solution left and right. And then there was uh, the summer vacations, and come autumn, um, both uh, the IT department uh, and the people in the business using uh, the platform and the database came back and said, no, we've been thinking during the summer, we don't want this platform, we want another platform. So we had to do a replanning, and, and that's agile, but on a different scale. Uh, had we had a waterfall project, we would have set the solution, done all the specifications, and it would have been a catastro catas catastrophic situation um, if they were to change the platform in the middle of that. So the difference between waterfall and agile is more the level of detail and requirements from your perspective in this case? Yes, actually it is. So it's a waterfall with high level, only high level requirements? We should change the platform. Yeah, my yeah. appointments, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll change the platform. So, okay, yeah. fine. So, so we'll add that to that. We'll take in a uh, different type of skill in the mm -hmm. team and extend the, the, the team uh, rather than just closing that part of the project and scoping it out. Because yeah. that would have been a, the alternative. It seems that you are needed as a project, ma project manager in this case. In this case, yeah. I am, yes. Right. And what about you? Are you needed? I or, hope you, so. <laughs> or you can go to Caribbean. Uh, I, I would like to go to Caribbean, actually, but, but um, I don't think that the technicians that I work with at the moment would appreciate if I leave, because it's a lot of small things during the day that has to be handled, mostly uh, structural, uh, on agreement levels, uh, stuff like that, and uh, making them have all what they needed to do their good job. So I'm more like uh, pulling oil into their machinery so they can do their stuff at the most uh, best way, actually. Yeah. So my conclusion is mm -hmm. that we we'll need project managers in ideal projects yeah. today. We need them in the future when we're doing larger things, yeah. because then we need some coordination. Is that is that's yeah, a correct I th understanding? I think, I think so, because uh, we are not so agile in the organization at the moment. Maybe, I don't know how many years it will take to get an organization in an agile thinking, working way. Um, maybe then, but we're not there at the moment. Definitely not. So thank you very much, both of you. It, it has been really good to have you as guests at Architecture Corner. Thank you. And hope thank you. to see you again. Thank you very much for viewing this episode of Architecture Corner. Hope to see you again next week. Thank <laughs> you.